if I ask someone to draw this, usually what I get is, you know, the whole entire shape of this show close to the center of the page, about the same size as it is in, in real life. The challenge for today is to, is to take this and really zoom into it and enlarge it so much that you can't see the entire thing on this piece of paper. To help you on this uh, challenge, I made these viewfinders out of paper and you'll notice when you get them, they have these little notches on the halfway point of each side. It's to help you measure what, what you see through this. A great way to use them is, you know, you can take it over this object and try to find an area of interest, maybe with some pattern, some detail with an edge. So I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna look through the viewfinder and I'm gonna draw whatever the viewfinder tells me to draw. To help you enlarge it, look towards the edges first. Don't start your drawing right in the center. If you do, most likely your object will be really small, close to life size. Start towards the very edges of, of this. So right here, if I look at this edge of the viewfinder, I see that this edge of the shell is pretty close to that. Like this little point area is really close to this. So I'm gonna put that point over here. I'll notice down here on the bottom, the shell comes close to the bottom. There's like a little bit of a divot right here. And then it runs along the whole bottom edge. And it comes over here to the side. Over here, there's just shell, but I can see like there's a big shadow like right through here. Over here, there's a little bit of the shell pattern like this. The very edge of the shell over here. So I went around the edge of the viewfinder and drew what I could see, things that are near a corner, things that are near one of those little halfway points. And I can kind of see it happening over here now. I can see the whole like outline of the shell pretty quickly. So what I have here looks similar to what's over here. The inside of it, I might go through this now and start looking at some of the details and start to add those into it. I can also use a magnifying glass to look kind of cl more closely at this to get some of the details that I can't usually see and add it into this drawing. This drawing doesn't have to take seven hours to make. It should just take you five minutes, three minutes or less. They don't have to take really, really long. Try to make one on this side of the paper. Then as soon as you're finished, flip it over, try it again. Take the viewfinder and move it to a different area or get a new object. Try to make at least two of these drawings today, if not three.